Welcome to our music and wellness program at Evola Music. I'm Rick Prunty and I'll be your instructor throughout the upcoming keyboard lessons. So let's get started with your new hobby of making music from Evola Music and the Lowry Organ Company. Music is a language and like any other language it has notations, signs and symbols. As we look up here, we have the framework in which we write our music on. It is what we call the musical staff. The musical staff consists of five lines. Line number one, line number two, three, four, and line number five. It consists of four spaces. Space one, space number two, number three, and space number four. Now notice the way we have the lines numbered, we have them numbered from the bottom up. When we notate on the musical staff, we always make our notations from the bottom up on the staff. Now at the beginning of the musical staff is what we call the treble clef. And the treble clef tells us that the notes written on the treble clef staff is going to be played with the right hand. So when you get your first piece of music, your music is going to be written on the musical staff with a treble clef and those notes are going to be played with the right hand. Now we take the musical staff and we divide it into sections. We use bar lines to divide the staff into sections called measures, like, like what we use a ruler for. So we have section number one here, or measure one, measure two, measure three. So on this musical staff with the treble clef, we have three different measures. On our musical staff, next to the treble clef, are two numbers written on top of each other. And they can be different numbers at different times. But whatever the numbers, the two numbers on top of each other next to the treble clef are what we call the time signature. The time signature tells us how many beats there are in each measure. The top number always tells us the number of beats in each measure. So in this case, we have a time signature of 4-4. Four, four. The top number is a 4, so we would have 4 beats in each measure. In this case, the time signature is 3-4, so we would have 3 beats in each one of these measures. Sometimes we need to write notes above the staff or below the staff. And to do that, we use what we call a ledger line. The note written on this ledger line is middle C. Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with the term middle C or sometimes they refer to it as center C. But we use ledger lines to write notes above the staff or below the staff. I hope you've had fun and want to progress through the lessons. Click on the next class or visit the link shown below for additional information and practice companion videos. <laughs>